I got into surfing when I was about six years old and dad just surfed so I guess he yeah, got me into it and we've lived pretty close to this beach my whole life so me and my friend just came here pretty much every day after primary school and kind of just went from there. I kind of didn't really care what competition it was, I just wanted to go in them and wanted to try and win them. I guess the World Tour was a bonus so that first time I got on I was on it for six consecutive years and then I got knocked off for three years. It was coming close to thinking about what I was going to do after surfing. It was kind of make or break and the very moment happened that I realised I qualified I just burst into tears. <laughs> now this year is my eighth year so happy to be back. <laughs> I think just the feeling of being out there I can get bored pretty easy so it's one of the only sports where it's like every wave's different it's always different it's not the same like tennis court lines or anything like that. No surf is ever the same. I've been surfing for 20 years, so that's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm very competitive and it all makes it worth it, even just to win one heat. It's, I love that feeling of winning and um, yeah, I'll keep doing it as long as I can. I mean, growing up being so sporty, I always obviously wanted to go to the Olympics and it was a big dream of mine, but never really knew what sport I could go there for or should try to get there and then yeah obviously after I chose surfing I never ever thought it would I'd be going to the Olympics so an amazing opportunity and I would love to represent New Zealand there. Probably one of my biggest dreams.